Well, uh, here we are uh, just about a week later. Uh, so uh, this is my, uh, my $25 Tektronix 475A. It was a uh, Ham Fest special. Uh, so I bought the thing uh, mostly just for the probes. I mean, it came with a, a 200 megahertz probe. Let's see here if the probes are... Yeah, I got them still in here. But... Uh, it came with this probe here. This one's switchable. It's a, a 200 megahertz probe. And it came with uh, a 200. I think this is a 200. This might be a 250. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, it's a P6106. I'm not sure which one that is. But I've got a few of these. And I believe they're 200 megahertz or somewhere in that region. But it came with those. It came with the manual. Yeah, pretty nice shape. Not bad. Of course, it's got the, you know, the pocket. And I got, uh, oh, there we go. Pocket and all kinds of accessories with it. But anyway, I've cleaned it up. I had to go through and uh, clean all the switches. They were, you know, fairly oxidized. They all worked, but uh, you had to kind of fidget around with them uh, to get uh, <clears throat> to get things working correctly. But uh, I also put I uh, also got some new feet for it, so that kind of makes it look a little bit better. It cleaned up pretty nice. Um, I didn't check the power supply, but uh, I'll probably do that later on. I don't see any symptoms of uh, of a bad power supply, so I didn't check. All the lamps work, and uh, I've been kind of just running it here and uh, checking the amplitude and uh, and the uh, sweep accuracy. And this thing is, uh, for all practical purposes, spot on. It's within a it's within uh, a few percent. The uh, the amplitude here on the scale is correct. I'm running uh, let's see what is it? 200 millivolts per division. I've got a uh, one volt peak to peak square wave going to it, and uh, square wave is at one kilohertz, and it's uh, lining up with the graticule just fine. Uh, the volt ohmmeter works fine. I uh, hooked up to a power supply here, so it's my Agilent. Uh, what is it here? An Agilent uh, E6 or 3630A. And uh, the power supply is showing 14.48 volts, and Tektronix is showing 14.49, so you know, within 10 millivolts on the 20 volt scale at least. Not bad. The, uh, the uh, A intensity and B delayed work just fine, so let's see. Uh, oh, and you can do uh, uh, time measurements with this, so we can go to the intensified mode, pull this out, and... Uh, Get a nice little dot there. We can go press the time button here, and that gives us this uh, this second dot. So we can put that. So we got the first one right about there, and this one right about here, and we can get get it close. So there we go. One kilohertz. Not bad. Not bad. Nice scope, man. I've uh, I used to use the uh, the uh, 465 in school, and uh, we had one that was just plain Jane. We had another one that had it didn't probably have, I don't think it had this exact uh, multimeter package, but it did have a multimeter package on it. Yeah, I remember they had the uh, the 10 turn, uh, you know. Uh, graduated dial there instead of just this blank uh blank knob <clears throat> but everything else you know, i can't find anything wrong with it other than it's just old it can be a little finicky but uh once it's warmed up after about 20 minutes it uh it works almost as good as my uh my 2465 over there so <clears throat> i'll probably end up just uh using this as a backup scope or am I uh, find a space for it here somewhere, maybe, and uh, 
and put it into service and actually uh, use it and uh, play around with it and have some fun. Anyway, guys, that's uh, about all I got for today. I'm, uh, I'll do another video later on down the road when I do one more service on this thing and, uh, and then call it good and uh, put it top shelf. Anyway, hey guys, uh, thanks for putting up with my crap, and uh, have a good one, and uh, we'll see you around.